Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox and review from Hasbro and their Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line. Here is a Retro Morphin Ninjor and Kimberly, and it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room Come From My Room To Yours. And today we're going to unbox and review from Hasbro and their Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line. Here is the Retro Morphin Ninjor and Kimberly. You can see from the front right there as they are kicking back behind their window pane locked in their plastic prison. Yes, they are going to be released. They're not going to be stuck on a wall or stored anywhere in their original packaging. The packaging is going in the trash, man, but it does look nice because it has that retro feel, the way that it looks. See, I have the original set of Power Rangers uh, that originally came out all in a green card. So I know a lot of you Power Ranger fans out there love collecting on card. I love collecting, I love the feel of them. These Power Rangers are so cool. They are very toyetic, so why not? We've been taking them out of the package and I've been having a lot more fun with them that way. Let's turn this all the way to the back right there. You can see the back. These are for ages four and up. I'll repeat that again, four and up. So that's why they're so toyetic. They are made to fight, to mangle, to throw out in the yard. They're made to jump in their vehicles. They're made to play with. All right, folks. So right there you're saying, okay, well, why do you have the very new Ninja and you have Kimberly right here who's been out for quite a while right now because I've had Kimberly for months already. And it took me a while to get her and I ended up finding her. No, as a matter of fact, I think we got her from a second seller, uh, eBay seller a while back. And I think he got me Kimberly, I think, for like 11 bucks and charged me like three bucks for shipping. Uh, so I jumped on it. And, but this beauty came from Walmart today. This is Ninjor. And he had a beautiful price tag of $12.93. And this is what he had. My wife sent me a text and had a picture of it. And she goes, they have this and they have one. Do you want it? And I said, do I want it? You know I want it. Plus, all my people out here at Moe's Toy Room want to see this dude because this dude does a lot more different stuff than the original Retro Morphin Power Rangers do. All right, folks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them out of the package and we're going to be right back and review them. All right, folks. First off, so in the package when we took them out, Ninja brung a small little nameplate right there. It's not really much. It's just cardboard. I think all the Retro Morphin Power Rangers bring them in case you want to pose them on there. And then Kimberly also brung the same. You can see right there. Nice little touch. I mean, you, you can easily grab your character and stick them on there. You know, luckily these ones stand pretty good. So, all right. Let's move this aside. Let's show you the goodies that they bring. First off, Ninja brings a sheath, which is really cool. We'll go through that and show you where this goes. Has a nice opening. He also brings his sword. Very toyetic. Um, this is very good for children. Look at this. Really nice, good material, something that children could play with. And us adults can collect. All right, you can see right here. It goes in very nicely, very easily, and it will mount to his back, okay? So it would do something like this. There's a little hole back there, so you would grab it and mount it, all right? And then for Kimberly, the long-awaited Kimberly, this poor girl's been in her package now for quite a while. She brings her power bow. And this mounts, because there are three other Power Rangers that were released before her. Well, it came out in her wave. It was the Blue Ranger, the black one, and the red one. And we're going to show them all together in just a moment. But this mounts to their weapons as well. It makes one giant weapon. So we'll show you how that works um, in just a moment. Okay, and she also brings her blaster. 
Okay, so um, I remember back in the day, um, I had a loose set and then I have a set on card. Um, my loose set of the, ori of the originals is all put away um, very nicely. But I remember, I don't remember if they had an actual peg on their hand or if they had the hole in their hand where the, there was a small peg on the gun. But I think the peg might have been on their hand. Is that correct, son? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. So I would have to double check that. Or just hit me up in the comments if you have those original, you know, Lucy's out there. Uh, and you have one in hand right now on site. Just hit me up in the comment. Let me know whether that peg was on the gun or if it was on the palm of their hand to get them to hold it. Okay. So, all right, folks. So what we're going to do before we get into this review is we're going to build this thing real quick. And I want to show you exactly what it looks like. Go. All right, folks. So we are back. This is what it looks like. You get all their weapons together and it builds this. It's really cool. I like the way it looks. This is a cool touch that says collect all, right? This is just one of those things. And then she would obviously, well, you would want to position it in her hand. And she would hold it. It's very big and heavy now, so you're really going to have to work at it, but that's that was it. All right, folks. So it's review time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to review Kimberly first. All right, Kimberly, you ready? All right, girl, let's do this. The long-awaited one in my collection as a loose figure. All right. Obviously, the figure doesn't have any head movement down or up, nor does it have any kind of side to side movement. But on the back, it has her button, her push button. And when you push it, let me see. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on. Oh, she's being stubborn. There you go. There's that pretty face right there. She morphs into Kimberly. So then her arms, she has hinges all the way like that. Arms go all the way up. Look at this mobility, just nice. They spin all the way around. Okay. And then down. They have swivel at the elbow right here, which is really nice on these Power Rangers. Okay. And they also, do they, they have a hinge there. So she should also bend. There you have it. Okay. Really cool. Um, turns like this for that way. And she also, yeah, not nah, actually that whole, that's one solid piece. So that's why you got swivel right there for her to move her hand. And that's it. Same as the other arm. Same exact thing. And got that swivel no swivel at the waist at all legs do move really nice on this very toyetic figure and there you have it look at that just really nice the way that they did this very very toyetic and she has really good movement she also has swivel at the knees and i think that that might be it Along with she'll bend at the knee with a single joint. And her color work is really, really nice. I, on the original set, the difference here too, is on the original set, I th I'm pretty sure that they have their emblem right here. On their chest. So, um, that's how you could tell a lot of them differently. Um, these and this fig right here, she is tipping a scale. Let's see here. At five and a half inches, huh? Five and a half inches. And that comes out to 14 centimeters. 
All right. You're wondering, does she hold her gun real good? Yeah, she does. She holds it real good when you don't want to use the gun. It slides in their holster really nice. And it's tight. So, yeah, you're going to like these figures. These are really cool. And I fell in love with them the moment that they released. But she was really hard to get when they first came out. And now they have the new wave out with um, Tommy in it. And I would like to grab myself some of those. There she is right there with her power bow. Okay, you can turn it if you want. Really cool. And they gave her a really good face sculpt too. I, I, I like it. I mean, it just looks retro. It feels good. Um, and for a lot of the young children nowadays that their parents just don't want to pay that big dollar for the original ones. Yeah, these are very nice. I've actually seen these on clearance for, um, I think it was like five eighty eight at Walmart. And at first they were like Walmart exclusives. I'm not sure if with the new set with the, um, white Ranger wall, Tommy or the green Ranger, if those will be fully Walmart exclusives, um, we will have to see. Uh, Walmart might get them first, and then Target may get them later on. Um, but I don't know. Um, I'm just going to have to wait and see and see where I find them. All right, folks. So what we're going to do is we are going to move her aside. And it's the big guy's turn right here. Ninjor. Ninjor is very, very big compared to the others. And we have him in hand, and we're going to show you um, after I review him. And Ninjor stands about six and a quarter inches tall, and which comes out to around 16 centimeters. And the difference between Ninjor and Kimberly is he doesn't have a push button on the back to get him the morph you have to pull this and then he morphs okay so that's how you get that and as far as mobility he, he does not have any down up movement head does not move at all and on this one the actual arms don't move up or down Okay, but this guy will morph. So I'll show you that in just a moment. But we're going to see his mobility. There you go. He makes a lot of noise. All right. And then he has movement only in his hands. Okay. No waste movement at all. And... He has no swivel at all at the knees or anything, but he does have swivel in the feet. You could get him to position. And obviously, you can see how big his feet are, so he's going to stand really, really good. All right, now the difference with this dude right here, you know, as a matter of fact, I have to pull his sword out for this because this is just classic, right? Which hand would I be able to drop his sword? Let's see here. All right. Let's assume that he's right-handed. Okay. So right here with Ninjor, what you want to do is you want to morph him first. Hold on. Okay. His head. And then these will lift up like this. They're on some nice little hinges there. And then here's a pretty cool part. And he's morphed. And then when you stick this thing on his back, that's how he looks. He has really good color. He just stands above the rest. He's very cool. All right, folks. So let's get him side by side with some of the others. Let me actually morph her to her. Kimberly and then we also have 
the Blue Ranger here. Okay, this is his weapon here. And we have the Black Ranger. And this would be his weapon here. And then we also have the Red Ranger. And he would bring his weapon there. And that's all of them right there together so far that I have for the Retromorphin Power Rangers um, that are new. So folks, get out there. Um, if you have not found him, he's hitting shelves now. So my wife found him today. Walmart, $12.93. Hit it up, check it out. And if you're lucky, you might be able to find some of these guys for five eighty eight dollars uh, because I have seen them out there on clearance. Um, so check it out. Hit up your local Walmart, folks. All right, so please like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so that way you know in the next video like this one, it's going to hit. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Moe's Toys. It's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Moe's Toys. We are also on TikTok. So hit us up there. Go to Moe's Toy Room. We are also on Reddit at Moe's Toy Room. And we are also on Twitter most toy room at Super Diablo 5150. And we have our Halloween special that is going to start this coming week. The whole backdrop behind us is going to go into Halloween. We are going to do a lot of Halloween and horror themed things throughout the month of October. We're going to a lot of places. We're going to film. We're also going to still continue to do hunts. And we are going to continue to unbox new stuff as we get it so please don't feel left out it's just that it's halloween time folks and so you're probably going to see a lot more horror here at most toy room so from most toy room to yours everyone good night